Good morning, people. Welcome back to the vlogs. Hair's going to look a bit crazy, but uh, I want to kind of make it like a bit of a routine to start the vlogs out here. I don't know why. I feel like it just starts the day off well and it kind of brings a theme to the vlogs. Last night was good. It was good to kind of like get away from the vlogs and just kind of like be on my own and just chill for a little bit. Um, so did that. Had a few drinks, which was very, very nice. And uh, just, yeah, enjoyed, enjoyed the evening. Now I'm back on the grind today. So far today, I have put my brand new shower curtain up because let me show you real quick. So this is my shower, okay? I've added the shower curtain in for a reason because this thing here doesn't move. It just stays as it is, which is fine. It's cool. But like water just comes out of the shower like this side. And I'm kind of like a person in the shower where I like, it's okay, sound not really weird, but like I'm quite aggressive, you know? So water just flies everywhere. Now I'll put the shower curtain this side. You may think it should be the other side, you know? So the, the shower curtain goes into the shower, but I don't need it a lot. It's just more of like a peace of mind thing. Also, by the way, I've ordered new hooks because these are just so bad. They don't even fit the pole, Stephen. Um, like obviously I should probably put it in the bath, but like it's more of a peace of mind thing. Okay, I don't know why I'm waffling with you for so long about a shower curtain. The other thing I wanna to talk to you guys is this right here. I've bought a new mic arm from Elgato. Now I've been looking at a lot of mic arms for the podcast recently, and we used to use this one over here. That's the Rode PS1, I think, or PSA1, but I don't like saying PSA, Ace grading for life. This is a low profile mic arm, which is why it's pretty important, and why it's different than I guess anything else that I would get. Obviously it speaks for itself being low profile, but it means that, oh, look at that right there. Instead of having it reaching over my setup, I can have it like start low, if that makes sense. Like I can put it there, look, and it comes through there. So yeah, I'm gonna mess around with it. I'm gonna set it up and I'll show you guys the process. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. This mic stand actually isn't that great because the microphone is so heavy. It's a really heavy mic. And like, see how like this here just is so, ugh, like some, and it, look, it just falls down. And I can tighten this part, obviously. And I can tighten this part here. And you want a bit of movement in it. You want to be able to like still move it and still stay in because, yeah. It's better though, it's better than ones that hang down because now when I'm recording music especially or I'm doing videos, I can talk like this without something coming over. When I'm done with it, I can just put it over there. So I do like it, definitely better than my other one. But the ones that I found in America for the podcast that I think we're gonna get are really cool. But they're like, they're like 400 each though. So for me here, it's not really worth it. But for the podcast, maybe it would be worth it, you know? What I will say is I really like how I'll get to hide the cables on this because it's like a metal, panel here and it's magnetic. So obviously you put the cable, had the cable in there. I'm wondering if I could introduce reacts to like the string of things that I'm doing. Obviously I know like Simon and Josh do reacts as well. And I've kind of been in the mi mindset that like now I'm doing the vlogs, I don't really like have to do videos where I'm like sat on my computer and doing stuff. But like, I think I could do it. And I think people would enjoy watching it. Like maybe on a different channel, not on this channel for sure now, uh, but I could do, I could do some, I think. You know, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if that's something that you like would watch or want to watch. Uh, it doesn't have to get the most amount of views, but I don't know, like one video a day watching some YouTube video or something. Could be a good idea. I don't know. Let me know what you think. But now I've got the mic, I could probably get a little background going as well, a little shelving unit over there, some lights and stuff. I need to set my PC up soon as well for something that I'm working on tomorrow or sometime something soon. Um, but I just kind of like, like use my laptop. Use my laptop, plug it in, and everything kind of works really nicely. I bought these little speakers off of Amazon and they're honestly so bad. I didn't realize either they're Bluetooth as well. So Bluetooth kind of defeats the point for me to make music because there's a little bit of a, of a delay in it. But I've bought so many like high-end speakers and monitors in the past and stuff that I'm like, you know, I can't keep doing it for every setup I'm in. My house has some speakers, uh, like monitors. I'll bring them back one day. Um, but I was like, for now, let's get something in. Uh, here's a little track that I wrote a while back. I think I've played that on a vlog before. If not, I'll play it again. But this is a song that like, I've always thought this is the first song I want to put out right now. And uh, this is the one that I want to work on. So I'll play it to you. I'll play you a brief bit. The speakers are pretty bad though. I'd rather be alone than bring you down with Verse crazy, ain't it? Da, 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 da. You know, something like that. And then maybe I'll make it a little bit faster. I'm not sure. Then I want to build that track up and like oh, just crazy, like crescendo. Crescendo? Yeah, I think like a crazy just ending, you know? Um, so I'll work on that. But ah, oh, music's tough, man. It's just tough because like writing the music that I want to write is just going to be hard to do, man. Like, you know? but that, I guess that will create the best music. But I've always wanted to have like a real, I've always had, I've obviously like made studio setups and music setups and, and some stuff. And I've, I've had a few that I was comfortable with in time. The one that I had in the flat in London, I started like doing a GTA area. I started to get really comfortable with that. Sick room, I had like the music desk that's at the house now. There's no way I can bring that here, it's just too big. 
Um, and I was really like, had my station ready. And then I was gonna do that at the house, but obviously by the time like I fixed my streaming room, like this, this happened. So there's no, I never finished it, you know. Um, also, fun fact: music is kind of like music is always. Ah uh, oh man, I feel like these vlogs are boring now. I feel like they're just getting like. I feel like they're losing. I used to be like in gym, in like everything was like oh, but now I'm struggling. It's like hard. It's like harder to entertain you guys. But music was like, uh, it doesn't matter. We're getting back into it. Let's go. Let's go. I actually never use this like drummer or this like uh, pattern thingy. You can just add like, like, you can add kicks and stuff. But it's annoying because like the problem with, with this, like I told you, is the speakers are Bluetooth. I don't even know that. I probably, I probably should have read it, but uh, essentially look, when I press play, see there's a delay and it's starting, which makes it really annoying. Because when I'm watching this go that round look, that's not actually the time it's meant to be. So. Okay, maybe it looks like that hits when the kick hits, but it doesn't. Oh, sorry, it, it, it doesn't after. Oh, wait, what? Okay, it does after a while, but not when you first start it. It's kind of, okay, there's a, okay, sure, that makes sense. There's a, there's a delay when it starts. But even still, I, w I probably wouldn't use this pattern, all these sounds, but. And even to fit, that is kind of like the pattern I would go with with these, uh, this, this song. I wouldn't use it in the chorus though. I'd rather be alone than bring you down with me. I'll heal in my time singing your melody. To be fair, my recording is too, I'm too slow. I actually am not singing in time here. But I, I kind of like sometimes that when it's when it's a little bit messy in the hook. But obviously with the drums there, it kind of clogs it up. But I'll hear in my time singing your melody. Like if I hung it a little bit, you know. Um, so funny. All my key commands aren't set to this laptop. <laughs> One thing for me, by the way, in music, and like, this is what I was talking about on the podcast the other day with Simon and, and John, uh, and I think Nick as well, where like, everything has to be right for music to happen, you know? Um, which is why I might go to Toby's studio. I might see Toby will let me go and like make some stuff in his studio when he's not there, because having things to be right is important, you know? But I feel like I'm not patient enough to sometimes make that. Like, do, can I make this a nice environment to make music? I probably can, you know? Probably can. I would need like a, maybe a bigger desk. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say, maybe a bigger desk I would need, but what I'm trying to say is ultimately like, Things, the small things in life have to be right before you can get something. So music is something that's really hard for me to tackle because I can't just sit here at like the time it is right now and just be like, oh, let's make a, make a song. I can, I can, but like I want it to be good, you know? And to, do, to make it to be good, everything has to align. So that's what I was saying to John and Simon on the podcast and Simon was agreeing and John was maybe saying not so much. Uh, but again, John's not got the wrong opinion. It's just like his way of looking at it. For me, like, it was about desks that John and Nick sit on. Like, I'm saying they need to look good. Even though they're not on the podcast, you can't see them, they still need to look good. They still need to be tidy. They still need to be clean. And that's the same like, mentality I have with music as well, my approach to it. Like, you know, I feel so open and exposed here, whereas music's such an intimate thing that for it to be good and for it to be like a reflection of me, I'm but maybe I'm just waffling. I don't know. I don't know. All right, time for some food. Bro, I just, you know, I just hate being like pent up in the house. Like, how did we do lockdown? How did we do lockdown, man? Honestly, how? Okay, what do I have? Hazelnut Dukkar Crusted Salmon. Mm, maybe not today. Protein waffles, I've had them before. Uh, lemongrass and coconut chicken curry. 
That sounds a little bit banging. I'm not gonna lie, since I put this microphone up and I've been doing music, I've really wanted to sort my wires out. And I'm thinking I don't wanna use these speakers, they're so bad. So I'm gonna bring my monitors from home back at the house when I go there at the weekend. And then I'm thinking, where do I put my speakers? If my TV's, if my monitor's there and monitor's there, like next to each other, how can I put you know, audio monitors there and then reach my ear? Because I don't know if you know this, it's, it's important where you put the monitors in music. You can't just put them anywhere. You have to put them, uh, there's, a, there's a formula for it. We have to put them, um, like in a triangle formation, you know, so it reaches your ears at the same time when you're mixing. I also found this, the Arc Studio. What this does is it's a, uh, it's a, it's pretty much like a, what do you call it? What's the easiest way to call this? I don't know what you call it. I have no idea. But it's a, it's a acoustic room correction system. So what it does is it, they send you a mic with it. You put your mic in your room and it'll use software and, and the details of your room to like try and treat your room with the sound it gives you. So instead of like, I mean, I still want obviously like uh, soundproof things, but ultimately what this does is it show the food, by the way, the food was good. I forgot I didn't tell you that the food was good, but now I'm really motivated. I'm really like, oh, I, when I get these little creative sparks, this is what I love, but I wish I had this all the time these days. But anyway, it essentially gives you a better signal through your audio monitors because it, it, it suits your room, you know, and it works it out. And this right here is what drives it. Uh, so then you put your speakers into this ultimately. So the output would go out of there, then I guess into this, then into the speakers. But I don't have the speakers here, they're at my house. But now I'm looking at my computer setup. I've been meaning to sort the wires out for a long time. And you know what, I think I might just do it right now. I'm just gonna do it now. Uh, get something done, stop feeling miserable. And uh, yeah, the monitor up there, I thought I could put it up there because of the fact that like, I don't like, the, the speaker should be there and there realistically. Probably a bit higher than that, but if my monitor is next to this, I can't. So I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking, is that like stupid? Is that stupid right now to have that and that like there? It might be, <clears throat> it might be. First up, that's uh, how high the desk goes. Pretty crazy, right? <laughs> Flexi Spot, shout out to them. Um, I've been watching this podcast as well, The Iced Coffee Hour. I've really been enjoying that. I'm also watching YMH, not at the same time, because we're kind of reorganizing the podcast setup. I'm trying to improve the podcast as a whole. So I've been listening to a lot of podcasts too. Oh man, I can't wait for these wires to be sorted. The problem with like desk stand setups, like standing desks, is that you need the wires to be able to go up as well. Um, so you can't restrict them too much. Uh, but I'm thinking like, oh man, it'd be a nice routine actually to get some reaction videos done and stuff. But I just kind of want to get in that routine. When I'm home, when I'm not traveling and I'm here, I'm like literally, I am stressed out my mind. As you can tell, this week's been a nightmare. I think it's because I've been like standing still, you know? Uh, I've been doing loads of stuff, don't get me wrong, as you've seen, I've got so much stuff to take care of, but it's like, the, organi the unorganizedness is stopping me doing even that, you know? I have like USB uh, dongles and stuff, I have like power bricks like that, I have, that's a switcher that goes from my PC to my Mac, and like, I need those to recently, I have this tray, but it's tray's too big now, and there's obviously, you can see plugs are in there, the tray's too big, so ultimately what I need is, I need like to stick stuff up to the desk like this, you know? But it's like, how do you even start? I hate this, actually, I hate this. All right, I've got these sticky things to stick things to. I've got like little cable managers, but they're very small, so they only last for small things. And then I have like cable ties and stuff. So, oh, where do I start? Job one is to make the monitors like look nicer and stop wrapping it around here. Uh, why's the frame rate really bad right now? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, let's undo this real quick. This is probably stupid to do with one hand. The goal is gonna be to plug these cables through this. So, like this, there we go. And the cattle lead too, and the screw goes back in, like that. There we go, they're plugged in. I need to unplug them from the other side because it needs to be the other side of this monitor arm. And I can't really, I could just twist. I could do that, but that looks kind of stupid, right? Oh, you know what, that actually looks okay. Okay, there we go. They go through this one, out there, around there, into this one, and then they come out of there. That's not the neatest thing, I don't think, but I'm not sure how else it would come out of there really, you know? Now I'm gonna do the same thing for the other monitor. It's a little bit low down, so I'm gonna do this off camera. So these three cables are going into here and then going through there and then going one to the PC. I need a longer display cable, but I think I have one at what's good, so I'll get that today for tomorrow. And this little cable for my light is going through there as well. So that's one job done. I know it looks messy from back here, but the whole point obviously is that when it gets to the front, it won't look bad, you know? Next thing is to stick this USB dock underneath the desk. I managed to get the power cable there for the desk, standing desk to be stuck underneath with these little cable. They actually turned out not to be too small, so this is looking good. These things in my history are like actually not that great. They work, but sometimes they just fall off easily, so I've put as many on there as I can. Now I'm gonna stick this under, underneath. I think I'm just gonna do it right there, like right here. Oh no, sorry, the other way around. But, like that look. So all my USBs can go in, 
and then they can feed up into the computer and the rest of it. A little update for you guys. I was uh, running back there, putting stuff in so I couldn't really talk to you guys. But actually, it looks messy, but it's better than you think because obviously if you came from this angle right there, you see how it starts to go. So a few more things to do. The PC is a bit of an anomaly. Like I said, I need one more extra cable that's longer, otherwise that's gonna dangle. Two things are gonna have to dangle over here because they're in those plug sockets right over there. They don't fit in this one right here. Uh, one of them could, but yeah. And then obviously the ethernet port is there as well. So yeah, good progress. I'm gonna dig deep a little bit more and then I'll come back to you in five. Wow, that was a big countdown. Two seconds, one, two. That's the final version for now. For now, guys, obviously need a longer cable, like I said, and like, this here, like, it's messy, but when I'm up here, I can't see it. I would like to fix these at the back and the way they come down, but I will do that soon. I've got a few more things to wire in, uh, and then I'll obviously do that. And then also the ones that are connected to the wall, as in, like, the plugs, I need to just fix those. You're sat here working, nothing there. I need a longer cable to connect my laptop. My laptop connects with this cable there. It's just too short, so I need to get along one of those. Uh, other than that, it's looking pretty good. It might not look it, but it's a way better and improved job. I just need some more cables to the PC, and which I, which I barely use, by the way. I barely ever use that. I always use my laptop. Once I just sort the ones out on the wall, it's fine. But then again, remember, the ones on the wall need to be there because when it goes up, they need to be able to rise, you know? I mean, I don't really make it a stand-up desk that much, so it's fine. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely much improved. It's almost about time now to head to the studio because the What's Good set is being put in today. Today, tomorrow, and the next day, and I'll show you guys the progress and take you guys with me, so keep checking in on the vlog for that. Uh, again, apologies if it's been a bit boring the last few days, but you know, I would like to have been away, but I couldn't go away because of the podcast set, so it is what it is. On the way to the podcast studio for the set, like I said to you guys, it's being put in right now, so now it starts. It's got two or three days until it's finished. I'm excited and nervous. Actually, I'm a little bit nervous. Sneak peek, there we go. Flooring, paneling. So we're just set going up the stairs. Let's go. I feel like this is already too much of a sneak peek. Tomorrow you'll get more of this, by the way. Tomorrow you'll see more of the set, okay? I'm not gonna do this until tomorrow because number one, we miss out on the reaction of the podcast being there anyway, and you guys get a sneak peek. It's the biggest set we've done in, a, well, we've only done like one set pretty much. We did the one in Simon's, play, well, no, we've done a few more. We've done the one in Simon's house, the Simon house originally, on the desk. Then we did the one in his flat, which like a little, no, with the red background, actually, yeah. No, no, wait, wait, wait. The white background first, we had nothing, just like us. Then we had the curtains, then we had... Then we had, like, the wood. Then we did that wood thing again in the new studio, but a different one. Then we turned it upside down, then we got rid of it. So this is, like, actually, maybe, like, the fifth or sixth, to be honest. I'm excited, though. Ooh, look at that. Wow. What's good? More like, what's log? Trying to do this thing there. Looking good, man, looking good. Came down here to make a thumbnail, did that, and now I'm actually heading off to Flight Club because we, uh, Cal does life, the main channel producer, and a bunch of the, the editors and the, the team from um, over in the other studio are going out tonight, and they asked me to come along, so I'm gonna go tag along, say hello, pop my head in. It feels weird vlogging outside, man. Like, I haven't been on a trip in so long, or even outside. I feel like all the vlogs recently have been indoors, which is not good, but I'm gonna uh, jump on a bike now. I'm not gonna film uh, cycling because I feel like I've, I've been doing that too much, and and then I just feel like it's a recipe for disaster, you know, so I'm gonna start doing the shots where I tell you I'm traveling before I get on. Makes more sense, you know? Hey. Wow, wow. <laughs> come, 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 come. The I've done darts on this vlog is actually ridiculous, it's a joke. Hey, it's, my, but it's my teammate right here. Neb. <laughs> 13. Bro, you threw it like JJ, man. 11, 11, 11. Yeah! Nice, oh, let's go, come on, come on. Is that actually in? Oh, it's double though. Come on, come on. Who did I kill? You got rid of Ben and Mark. Oh, oh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. Right, I'm a G film now. We've done alright. We're trying to kill someone. Oh no, you got it four for now, I think. Oh my god, there it goes. It's cold with it. G film just told me he hates the Osmo, by the way. Okay. Okay, a little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Oh! He just finished us off. Yeah. We're, 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 we're finished, we're finished. Yeah. This guy's a fucking killer, man. Chips guy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck Chip. Chip's new editor is better than all of us at Really? Yeah. Wow, wow. How does life? Here he goes. Is he a good as well? 
Six. No. Oh, nearly, man. Trying to get a one. That was very close. New teammate. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. One, one. Fuck off. Cathedral. Cathedral. That's in the six though. I hit the six, man. Right here, man. He sabotaged the dance. Yeah, yeah. I only need one. <laughs> Gotta hit eight once. Eight. Oh, both of them? Wow, I need a Thank you, thank you. There we are. Right. Thank you, mate. Thank you. All right. Eight. Fucking hell. Pressure. Oh. 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 Okay, fuck. Oh. Too high, man. Me and Kyle's life on the same team. It's written. It's written, man. Let's go. Come on. Come on. What do you, what do, you do this one? Wait, so what? You, you have to hit bullseye? Yeah, that's hard. Oh! We got it back. Oh my god. One more, one more. Oh, that's actually hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's hard, man. Carlos life, here he goes. My teammate, we got, we got no ducks. We got no quacks. Quack shot. Balls like only. I'm not great acting. Oh, not bad. Oh, not bad again. One more, one more, one more. Okay, I'm gonna aim for the double. So I'm gonna aim for the bullseye. He's gonna hit it. Watch this. He's gonna hit it right now. Straight bullseye. Watch this. Watch this. Oh. Hey. By the way, that was like 18 seconds left. 10 seconds left and he done that. Crazy, crazy. 10 seconds left for the entire night, by the way. It, oh, you know, Kian, Kian. It, time's up, time's up. By the way, I, I definitely am top of the leader, by the way. I played the best tonight. What a guy. I, I'm vlogging it, I'm vlogging it. No, no, I'm going to self-vlog it. Come, 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 come. Yeah, watch this, watch this, watch this. All right, all right. Nine, nine. Okay, okay. Fuck! I didn't plan for that. I didn't plan for that. This Don, he's not even got, he's not even got his partner here. It's just him solo, mate. Fuck. What a guy, man! What a guy! Back again. Oh, oh my God. Bro, he's so good at that. He just checked out. I love him. <laughs> Bro, he's so good. I'm off. I'm off. You off? Yeah, I'm off. Take care. Take care. Take care. Hey, fuck you, man. Fuck you. Take care. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Screens in. Are you happy, John? I am. I am. We are knocking down things one at a time. Uh -huh. Oh, good. Got the holes made. Nice. Yeah, mate. Oh, mate. I'll show you. I'll show you. Holes in. Detail. No one's gonna give a fuck about it. Oh, okay, so. okay. We have a lovely table. Yeah. Uh, and we wanted to mount our mics to it, but we uh -huh. can't do that. So what the lovely men have done is wow. they shaved it off so that we can fit these inside. They've got. An it didn't fit before. It. Okay, yeah. Pardon? It, it didn't they fit did before. Fit, but they will now. And they if we now. use a different tables, still gonna be fine. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is fine. It's actually looking good, you know. Let me. Obviously, we're not gonna use this logo, but let me put the what's good. Full screen, boom. Okay, sick. And then John's got the other camera here. This is this is a small example. Okay. It's focused correctly to show that we still have depth. I was worried we don't still have depth. Yeah. Depth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're a bit uh, zoomed in a bit, but. Yeah. Pull out a little. Pull out, Randy. There we go. And then. We Cold. Can focus still. Yep. Let's go.